Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Today's video is going to be a full face Friday, so it's going to be a full face of Believe Beauty products. Believe Beauty, if you don't know, is Dollar General's exclusive beauty line. Um, they launched a couple of months ago, and I've been testing out a lot of their products for a while now so I could have an idea of the quality and whether they were worth the money or not. Um, a lot of their things are either $5 or less, or like all of them are either $5 or less. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But before I get into the video, I did want to remind everybody to head over to uh, my blush, blush collection video. Um, on that video, I have details on my 100 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be the Violet Voss Essentials Eyeshadow Palette and the Hank and Henry Eyeliner. So head over there, check that video out, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment on that video to be entered in. And then once I reach the 100 subscribers, then I will randomly pick a winner and I will contact you um, just via Facebook. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So we are going to start out with eyes like I usually do. So um, what I'm going to do for eye primer is use the Believe Beauty Concealer. Now this concealer I have actually used a lot and I really, really like this. It's actually made its way into my everyday makeup bag. So I am just going to put a little bit of that on my eyelid um, to act as a primer. And I will go ahead and get that all blended out here just using my finger. I have brushes that I can use for this, but I think it's just a lot faster and easier to use my finger. So I'll go in like that. And like I said, a lot of these products I have tested out for a while, um, but there are a couple that I just haven't got around to using. So it'll be like a first impressions during this video. All right, so the palette that I'm going to use is their Nearly Nude palette. Let me open that up for you. All right. So this is really cute. Um, it's got four shimmers and two mattes. And this is actually one of the ones that I have not tested out yet. So this will be a first impressions on this. So what I think I'm going to do is just take a big fluffy brush here, which is clean, and go in with the lightest shade here um, as a transition shade. And I'm going to practice using the camera, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I may bring in the mirror and see so I can get a better look at what's going on. Um, okay. So that's a very light shade. It's blending really well. But it is very light. Um, and I'm noticing a lot of fallback, or fallout. <laughs> which isn't really a problem for me because I have learned to do my eyes first. So that way it doesn't ruin my whole look. All right. All right. So I am going to take this little Eco Tools angled brush and I'm going to use it with um, this shade here and kind of deepen up my outer corner. And this is. They're more of satin matte, so I said shimmer, but they're not like terribly shimmer shades. They do have that like satiny finish to them. Okay. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. And when I'm testing out eyeshadow palettes, um, what I like to do is test their actual, like, everyday wearability. So I don't have 30 minutes to do my eyes every morning. So 
Um, if you think I'm going through this a little quick, that's usually what I do the first time I ever test out an eyeshadow palette. Just because I want to know, is this something that I can use on an everyday basis? Or is this something that is going to be like special occasions where I really need to take my time? Alright, so I'm going to bring out the mirror so I can get a better idea what's going on. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Looks pretty much the same. I am going to take this, take my left eye and bring it up a little more to match the right. And... And then I'm going to take this brush here, um, which is a Vasanti brush, and I think it says it's their concealer buffer, but this is my blank brush, so this is my blending brush. And I like to use it to gently soften all the edges, and I never actually put any fresh product on this brush. It's always just kind of what I use to blend things out. All right. So, so far they're seeming, you know, pretty blendable. Um, this palette was $5. So it's not bad. Um, but if I had $5 to spend on a new palette, I would probably get a Profusion palette. But, you know, to run in quickly to the dollar store and grab something that's going to be usable, then, you know, it seems like it'll work. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this like silvery, oops, sorry, this silvery shade here and do my inner corner. And I'm going to try with a brush because this one is the most shimmery looking. So I'm going to try it with a brush and then if that doesn't really do what I want it to do, then I'll go in with my finger like I usually do. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let me go in with my finger and see what I can do with that. Ooh, because I think it's going to really pop on my finger. So just one second here. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, that gives it a lot more pop. So I'm just going to go ahead straight in. With my finger on the other side, I'm not even going to waste time. And I got a little fallout on my lashes, so I'm just going to wipe that away real quick. All right. All right. So it's not the best quality shimmer, like definitely not. But like I said, for the Dollar General, for five bucks, you know, can't really beat it. So I'm going to go back in, well you can, Profusion can beat it, but <laughs> go back in with this brush here. Um, and I'm going to try to soften that inner corner and blend it a little bit more in. Just at the top, like right in my crease area, I'm going to just try to blend it over. So, I'm just going to very, very, very gently and lightly blend that over. And that blended really well. Um, it actually looks way, 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 way better now. Okay. So, I'm going to go in, same thing with this one, and just blend it over right in the crease. Not exactly on my lid, but right in that crease area. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now I am going to go back in with my transition shade using that same, um, this brush is a Lux, Luxie Large Blending Brush. I got it in an Ipsy box a while back ago. 
couple months, I think. And I am just going to blend that transi transition shade, like, from where the colors stop all the way up to the brow. So from where the color stops all the way to the brow, blend, blend, blend. All right. And same thing on the other side. All right, beautiful. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there on my eyes because I'm going to go in with the rest of my face before I try to do anything with the inner corner highlight or lower lash line if I decide to go that route. So um, I also picked up the Believe Beauty wipes. Yes, they have wipes. I believe they were like 4 or $5 as well. And they're not bad um, for like swashes and stuff like that. I'm not a huge fan of using wipes all over my face. Ex like I like to use them for um, fallout. So what I'll do is I'll just go right under my eyes and go straight up. So right under my eyes, straight up. Right under my eyes, straight up. And then I'll just check the rest of the face because sometimes it gets like down on my cheeks and I don't even see it. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. That is not a bad eye look for like an everyday um, neutral look. Not bad. Um, okay. So now, oh, I'm getting hot. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the primer that I bought. So I got this one. They had three different kinds, but I really wanted to try the Pretty and Primed Color Correcting Primer. This primer I used in my last Get Ready With Me video, or like my first one that I ever posted. But um, if you watch that video, you know that the majority of that footage got lost, so you did not get to see any of the face application part of the video. So this is a primer that I used and like I said in that video it feels very lotiony and it's not like silicone based so it doesn't feel like it's going to be um, very poor filling which it wasn't very poor filling and it said it was color correcting as well, but at least with the foundation that I used in that video, which is a light coverage foundation, or well, light to medium, it didn't seem as though it did much on the color correcting um, scale. So we will see um, because today I'm going to use the Believe Beauty foundation. Now they have the foundation and they have the um, tinted moisturizer. Today, I'm not, I actually haven't used either one of these before. Today I'm gonna use the Believe Beauty Foundation because I feel like that's probably what you guys would be more interested in. Personally, I'm interested in the, found, or the tinted moisturizer because um, tinted moisturizers are what I tend to wear on a daily basis like to work because they're not as heavy and I don't feel like I get you know, the dreaded face melt off, and I work in a really hot, sweaty environment. So uh, let me know, I mean, if you guys are interested in how this does, I will definitely do another video because I do plan on trying this. But today I'm gonna use the foundation, and it comes in this really cute glass bottle. This is five bucks, has a pump. Um, I am using the shade Nude. Don't know for sure if it's gonna be my shade, but we will find out. And I will be using it with the Believe Beauty um, foundation brush. I love this brush. Um, I This is actually my second one that I've purchased, which I'm using today, brand new, to make sure that it doesn't interact with the foundation because I have used, I haven't washed the other brush that I have, basically. So, we are going to use this brush. Um with the foundation and see how she works. So I'm going to start out with two pumps because that's usually what I use with my foundations and see how it works. So what I'm going to do is dot it 
like so, which is usually what I do. And I'm going to start blending, blending from the inner out. And I'm sorry guys, it's like very strange getting used to doing my makeup in a camera as opposed to in a mirror. So I am sure I will be looking at my mirror here soon. Like right now actually. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. On camera, it looks really light, but it's actually a pretty decent match. Okay. And then I'm just going to take it around the ear and then straight down the neck just to make sure that it's even. And then I'll go on my nose. And I feel like I may need another pump because I don't feel like I'm getting as much coverage as I want. Or like it's not going as far as I want it to go. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get one more pump. So that way I can finish out the other side. And I'm just going to go here and here. And do the same thing. Just circle motions, blending outwards. Making sure that I'm getting my hairline. And around the ear like I talked about and down the neck like I talked about okay so definitely um, buildable. I mean, it is really buildable. Um, I had a blemish here and it's pretty much covered right now. So I wouldn't necessarily say full coverage, but it's definitely got that, um, medium, medium, medium to full because I mean, even my redness, I mean, I've got some poking through, but it's not bad. And I don't know, you know, if that primer had anything to do with it or not, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, so I'll see how this wears throughout the day, and then I will update you guys on my Facebook vlog um and my instagram on you know is this something that i'm gonna be able to wear all day is it gonna break apart on me or how it's gonna wear um i always like to take my damp beauty sponge oh, i got a darn hair um after i apply my foundation and just take it and just pat it over just to make sure it's set down i feel like it helps with what little bit of peach fuzz I have on my face and it just blends it all together okay so now that I have that I'm gonna go back in with the Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm gonna go under my eyes like that and I feel like this is the amount that I like since I've tested it out um, I kind of have a better idea and then I like to go straight down the nose like that and then right on the chin like that and then with this I just use my beauty sponge and this is actually a L'Oreal beauty sponge um, and it is my favorite uh, beauty sponge that is okay 
first off, let me say that I've never used a beauty blender. Um, part of me wants to, because, I mean, it's what started the whole beauty sponge thing. But then again, I don't want to spend $20 on a sponge. And everybody raves on them, obviously. And I don't want to feel like, once I use it, that, oh, I can't go back now because this one is way too good or whatever. Okay. So let me double check here. Okay, good, good. Everything's looking nice. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the translucent powder. Um, and I have actually not used this either. I don't use loose powders, so that this is the powder. It's supposed to be translucent. It's a loose powder. I don't typically use loose powders. Not a whole lot. Um, it's kind of one of those things where I feel like it's messy and I don't really have time for it. But we are going to see today. So it's got the holes in it, like most loose powders. So I'm just going to take some on my brush, tap it off. And I am going to set the under eye. Okay. That's nice. I don't feel like it is translucent. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of color. Um, but it doesn't seem to be making it look cakey or anything in that area. So that's good. I would say, um, as far as what I'll use it for in the future would be, um, n not my under eyes, basically. So, like, I'll set my nose with it to make sure that the concealer and everything is set in place. And I will, um, maybe set my cheeks with it if I feel like I need to. Um, my face doesn't feel too tacky, so it doesn't feel like I will need to set anything else as far as the rest of my face goes. What I am noticing, though, as I'm sitting here, see if you can see. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got, I get dry patches, like, right around my mouth. And I've moisturized today, and it feels like just right here in this area... It's clinging to my little dry patch that I have there. It's not hair. It's not a mustache. It's a dry patch. Um, but it does seem like it's clinging there a little bit. So um, next time that I use it, um, I will use a different primer that's maybe more moisturizing. And maybe that will help with that. We will see. I will definitely update you guys on that. Okay. So we did powder. We did foundation, concealer. All right, now time to go into some bronzer. Now, the bronzer that I have is um, in the shade Hawaiian Glow. Um, it is a matte bronzer. Uh, it's got more of a cool tone to it, and I have used this bronzer quite a bit. So, as I apply it, what I've noticed with this is it is very pigmented. So it is something that I feel like I have to use a light hand with. So what I do is I go up to the hairline, dot, 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 and then on the other side, dot, 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 and then I just take the same brush and just blend it all down. Right, and then 
Same thing, um, what I do is I'll go to the cheeks. And lightly tap like that and I'll take the other side and then lightly tap like that and then blend it down and wow we goodness so as you can see there is a big old line right here I have no problems with the wet and wild or with um, Pretty much any of my other like the Maybelline City Bronzer no problems there um, the Rimmel natural bronzer no problems there um, it's just something about the pigment on it and it is hard to blend out so what I'm gonna have to do now and this is just kind of for you guys to learn a lesson I guess um, what I have to do when this happens is well first of all I should probably stop using this brush even though I use the same brush for every single other bronzer that I have so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab my Maybelline fit me loose powder this is in the shade what is that in the shade 130 buff beige and I'm gonna take my little powder brush here and I am gonna go over this like so and I'm gonna go ahead because I don't want to do too much here I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly tap it over this side like so And I know I'm making a weird face, but that's always what I do. Okay. Now. Now what I think I'll do is I will go in. And I'm sorry I'm blocking my face, but hold on. All right. Okay. So, I do not plan on using this like in my everyday because it is just too easy to mess your whole face up. Um, maybe I'll try it with a different brush and see. But like I said, I mean, I use, I probably have like 10 other bronzers. Which, when you see my bronzer collection, you'll see what I'm getting at. But I have like 10 other bronzers, and I do not have that problem. So, not my favorite. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go in with this um, bronzer highlighting stick. Um, I have been using this as a bronzer topper. So what I like to do is just take a little um, brush... And tap, 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 tap on that. And just put it right over top of it just to give me a little glow. And it's really nice. It gives a nice little shimmer. And I like it a lot. And then after that, I will go in with my blush. Um, I have two shades in the blush. I have the Fancy Plum and the Wink. Today I'm going to use the Wink. And I'm going to go in with my Koki blush, blush Brush, which is what I always use for my blush. Now this one is a bright pink and it's also pretty pigmented, but it's not like that bronzer. So what I do is I dot, 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 like this. Then I smile, fill it out, and bring it back. Okay, same thing on the other side. First I just... All right. 
right. And then what I'm going to do um, is go in with the highlighter, which is the Believe Beauty Champagne Kiss Highlighter. I really, really, really like this highlighter. Um, it's similar to the Essence Pure Nude, but it is more gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap it very gently. And then after I tap it, I'm going to take a clean finger and I'm going to blend it like this. So you get that glow. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right. All right, so now I am going to go in with sorry guys I'm wiping off my fingers <laughs> all right I'm gonna go in with the um, uh, what do I want to use I'm gonna do my brows real quick okay Believe Beauty eyebrow pencil this is in the shade ash brown and I'm gonna comb them out real quick and then and I've talked about liking this pencil in my last video because that part of the video did actually make it so I like to I don't do a whole lot with my brows as I discussed because I don't like really doing my brows anyway but I just like to make them look like presentable, I guess, just like brushed out. Like so. All right. So the pencil I do really like. I've used that a few times now. And then the styling gel I also really like. But um, you do need to make sure that you um, brush it off before you just slap it on your brows. This stuff is pretty clumpy, so if you don't brush it off, you're going to end up with a clump, and that's, I mean, it's easy enough to blend in, even if you get one, but it's kind of like, oh no. Alright, so then I'm going to take the little spoolie from the other pencil and brush that through, like so. And it helps everything kind of lay down and stay in place. All right. All right. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the inner corner highlight. Alright, and then I am going to go in with my 
Believe Beauty Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Uptown Girl. This lip gloss is not my favorite. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But it is kind of sticky. Which I don't love. Um... And there are other um, lip glosses for the price point, I feel like, that it wouldn't be the first thing that I picked up from them. Alright, and then lastly, I'm going to go in with the Believe Beauty um, Setting Spray. Now, I could not believe that they had a setting spray, but they sure do. And it is not bad. I mean, it smells good. And the mist is super fine. Like, I can't even feel it going on. It is such a fine mist. But it smells good. It kind of smells like cucumbers. Um, and it smells fresh and clean. So, this, I feel like, is not... It's not going to be like your all-day-long, you know, morning-to-night type of setting spray. But if you are looking for a setting spray that's just going to get you through an eight-hour workday, then that would be, you know fine for five dollars all right so now I'm just going to step back um, kind of look and see how things are looking I like the level of everything I mean I know we had a little bit of a disaster with that bronzer but I mean it cleaned up okay um, the eyes are looking all right I could have done more um, with the lower lash line but this video is like already really long. So the only thing I did not get from Believe Beauty was their mascara. And the reason I didn't get a mascara is because I have so many backups. And so many, like currently I think I have three mascaras that are opened. And I don't like to waste product if I don't have to. So, I just decided not to pick one up because I had so many other products. Um, if I had to pick a couple of products from this line that I would say get that product, it's going to be the concealer. This is the number one. I really like this. I love the texture, the um, coverage level of this. I would also say, like, I really liked, which I didn't even talk about the, the blush stick technically these are highlighters but i use this for a bronzer topper and this for a blush topper and they are both really really good um and then um i would definitely say the brush too i really like the brush so these are the ones for sure if you're going there and you want to try some new stuff get these things i don't know the foundation enough to say yes for sure get it but for five bucks and the coverage I would say, you know, it's definitely worth it. All right, everybody. Well, that is my Full Face of Be Believe Beauty video. I do plan on doing Full Face Fridays every single Friday for you of different products. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. And pop over and check out my blush collection video to get details on the 100 subscriber video um, or giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Um, like I said, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Head over to Facebook and check me out. Head over to Instagram and check me out. Um, and other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.